It's okay? All right. Yeah, it's not good right now. I need to get this shit off me. Okay, more pre-insurance documentation. So let's um, start up here. So I really did a number on the Machine Art Moto Advanced Hand Guards. We also nicked our mirror, but only barely, like right here. Um, crash bars. I thought upper crash bars were a joke, but look at that. There's this and this. That's from the accident, as well as the uh, scrape here to the OEM head, uh, auxiliary light. If you look at how the all rider crash bars did, they're still not actually touching. Can you believe that? They're still not touching the machine guard moto hand guards. They're, they're barely on it, but they're not at the level I thought they would be. But look at that damage underneath. It is uh, flattened out there. You go up here, flattened out. What's amazing though is it sheared off the aluminum, but the, the, they still didn't move. I can't believe it. <laughs> and of course, the um, here's the machine art motor X head. This is scraped down off of that there. But again, it saved the hill and cylinder heads, so uh, I can't complain. It, 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 it saved the bike. Um, all right, down here, um, the shifter is broken. So we just had that piece missing there. By the time I put the bike scripts on to get home, it's a little bit meh. We've got some um, scratching here on the Alt Rider bar. Um, the passenger peg, let's see if we can get up to the path. There we go. So this got scraped on the ground. This got torn back, and this won't really stay up anymore. So that one's kind of toast. Um, that's off of the left side of the bike. Well, we got some scratching here as well, but it's not too crazy. That's at the left side of the bike. Oh, oh yeah, I totally forgot about the biggest part. Look at all, guys. The final drive protector and the final drive slider. Look what those did. This used to be a complete bow out situation. It sheared off all of that rubber or plastic. Totally cut the final drive from getting scraped all to hell. So that one totally did its job. 30 bucks on eBay and $70 on eBay for this card. Dude, get it. Don't even, don't even wait to just buy it. Um, ripped off the rear license plate and ripped off the Billy brake light for the clear water right at the termination point. So that's a whole new assembly I have to get for that. If you look back here, you can see how the... Uh, Jesse rack is off to the side. It's uh, off in this direction. The OEM silencer muffler is dented right here. And of course it broke this plastic shroud piece. Uh, this part here is also dented. Basically the silencer is replaced. You can see how the, uh, this line, that's how much the silencer moved which get, led me to think, huh, I wonder uh, if I should uh, check the bolt up top, the bolts into the frame. Well, you can see here how this is off kilter from where it should be. It's to the left. Uh, the bolt may have been bent, but it could also be that piece that melts the bolt into the frame. Um, and of course, this is much higher than it was before. This Jesse rack, it's pushed, pushed upwards. No damage that I can tell to the uh, passenger peg and the wheel and final drive look okay. Not great, but okay. Um, the biggest part of the damage, really, for, as far as drivability, comes from the brake lever and the uh, right side peg. So the brake lever here was actually turned into the uh, frame here. Um, but look how much this alt rider right heel guard moved in. You can kind of see here it's normal plane. It bends right there. So this saved, this is my uh, shift assist pro mechanism behind here. 
it totally saved this. So this got bent backwards uh, when, it, when it ran into the side there. Um, the topper for the pivot pegs is off, but the pivot peg itself doesn't come back down. And the reason why is because this right here, see that bolt? That means the bottom part right here, the connection to the frame is actually away from the frame. Let's see if we get underneath it. So that's the underneath of it. Um, I don't know if this is fixable or not. I really don't know, but that would constitute possible frame damage. And then of course this here, we managed, we managed to get it to, um, you know, get out of the way, but you can, it's not really where it should be uh, as far as, you know, it was kind of just all food hard there. Uh, left crash bar, a little bit of damage here, and a little bit of damage on the cylinder head guard. And that's it. That's our, um, that's our damage report from the GS. Oh, here's the, uh, the Billy brake light. You can see here how it ripped out that cord right at the termination point down there. So, fitting it back in there is going to be a little bit of work, or I can just buy a new one. So that's it. That's my uh, motorcycle damage report to the R1200 GS Adventure. That sucked.